All right, I want to take a quick moment to talk about the Troy Battle Mag. Um, so obviously P Mag is the most popular magazine out there, and it's the standard for all their magazines to be compared against. Um, so I've had Troy Battle Mags for a year now. Um, got some from a gift bag from a, uh, a shoot, and I like them. Um, I actually use more... Troy Battle Mags and I do P Mags in competition. Um, main thing is I always have my P Mags like in my chest straight for work. Um, so other than like my D60 in my shirt or um, my 40 round P Mag, um, I'm actually using these. Um, the only exception is like when I do distance, I have a P Mag with a Mag Pod. Um, so they're lightweight polymer. Um, you're not gonna get that tilt or. Uh, Fall over to tilt, which is awesome. Um, they're green. Um, haven't had any problems with feed lips. Um, they're pretty durable. Um, you know, drop plenty of mags. Doing mag chains during matches, and haven't had any problems with them. Um, haven't any problems um, using the mag itself as a mag pod. Um, Troy also makes these little end plates where you can, you know, grab them. This little deal that hooks onto your fingers. It's so whatever. I don't use them. Um, they're not like crazy aggressive texture wise. They have these little fish gills. Um, so when you're pulling it out, your hand will, you know, catch them. Um, they really don't have like more grip when you uh, press up or anything. Um, kind of narrow mag. Um, they're really nice. They're cheap. Uh, I know a lot of times when Troy does sales, you know, if you buy something from them, you get a couple free battle mags. Um, I like them. Um, they're not approved for military use. Um, individual units may say, yeah, you can use them, but um, pretty much the military is like, oh, polymer. No. Um, but hey, I haven't had a single problem with them. Been using them over a year. Drop point, put plenty of rounds through them. Um, good mags. Uh, if you're looking for some mags, check out Troy Battle Mags.